Hi students, to continue our lecture on polar form, uh, now we take, we will take a complex number in the third quadrant. And if suppose I take minus one minus iota. So if we see x is minus one and y is minus one, so it lies in third quadrant. Again, r will be x squared plus y squared. So r will be minus one squared plus minus one squared. So it will be again under root 2. Now uh, theta will be different because we will have to take care about the quadrant. Uh, in which quadrant does it lie? Theta will be 180 plus tangent inverse of y by x. So y is now minus 1 and x is minus 1. So we will have the value of 180 plus tangent inverse of 1. And if you use to cal the calculator or table to find out the value, it would be 45. So the theta will be, uh, that will be 225. So uh, if you just concentrate or just use uh, see this carefully, you will see that uh, the theta was different in previous case. And just that was just because of the signs involved and it just changed the quadrant so we change the formula and we get this quadrant now 2 to 5 is greater than 180 so it will lie something over here and this will be our theta now we will just check about the last quadrant if it lies in the fourth quadrant I will just use the same values with different signs so that that complex number might lie in the fourth quadrant and we will check that <clears throat> Suppose we have on uh, plus uh, 1 minus iota. 1 minus iota is again uh, a complex number and we want to find its polar form. So x will be 1 and y will be minus 1. So r will be x squared plus y squared. So r will be again under root 2. So I don't want to go in that detail again. And now theta will be uh, 360 plus tangent to the of y over x. Now y is minus 1. x is 1. So we'll have theta is equal to 360 plus tangent to the north of minus 1 will be minus 45. So it will be minus 45. So if we subtract that, uh, we will get 5 and here we 1, 315. So now we get the theta 315. So students, uh, you, you just have uh, seen that uh, the theta is changing or is the same whenever we change the signs of complex numbers or uh, you can say that we are changing the quadrant of the, that complex number and we are getting different theta. Now if we see 315 is <clears throat> a bit less than 360 so it will something like it is greater than 270 so it will lie something over here so it lies in fourth quarter now uh, we will discuss some uh, application of polar complex numbers and uh, why they are necessary or how it, they can be used uh, for useful purposes so uh, First, uh, to find out a basic uh, usage of uh, polar form of complex number, we will study a theorem. Uh, I'll not go into proof of that. I just mention over here. That is called De Morvis theorem. Suppose we have a number cos theta plus iota sine theta whole power n. Then that n will go in the multiple of theta, and it will become cos and theta plus iota sine and theta. <clears throat> so th uh, this is actually basically used to find out the higher power of complex number. Suppose uh, if I have 1 plus iota power suppose 100, then uh, to solve this uh, algebraically that would not be easy. We will have to spend binomial series or something like that. But to convert that in uh, to polar form will make us uh, in a, such a position that we can easily solve this question uh, or we can easily solve that power. 
suppose uh, we convert that into polar form so we have already done it in uh, previous lecture so 1 plus iota uh, I, I want to find what is the value of that 1 plus iota <coughs> so 1 plus iota it will be uh, in a polar form that would be under root 2 cos 45 plus iota sine 45 now if I want to find out the power raised to 100 over it then I can just take power 100 on both sides it will be something like this and it would be uh, under root 2 power 100 and cos 45 plus iota sine uh, 45 whole power 100 so here you can leave it like this or you can use calculators to solve this and here this will be cos 45 into 100 because uh, using De Moore's theorem we will have this power multiplied with the theta and this will be iota sine 45 into 100 and this will be again under root 2 power 100 and this will be cos 4500 plus iota sine 4500 now uh, cos 4500 that value can easily be calculated using calculator and uh, sine 4500 that can also be calculated using a calculator and when you calculate the value using calculator then you will have the answer of 1 plus iota power 100 I'm sorry I don't have calculator right now so uh, you have to do it yourself so uh, now you have learned that uh, we use the power form to solve uh, the higher power, uh, very high powers of complex numbers and similarly uh, they are used to find uh, the quotient of very higher power or product of higher power and we will discuss them in future lectures so uh, for now it is uh, for you that you should practice different questions you should apply the more skills on uh, several questions and you should also try to find out polar form of several uh, complex numbers you should try again and again to re and you should revise that also uh, so that you might be an expert on uh, converting complex numbers into polar forms and in future lectures we will do complicated questions using these polar forms so I will not explain polar form over there so for that you should practice it first I'll just write answers over there and uh, I'll do I'll go for uh, solving the rest of the question so it's uh, i think it's enough for today so thank you very much for watching us